Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Running on the right track. I know we never gonna look back. All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. So happy to have you here. And if you're new here, I'm Sam. Welcome to the YouTube family. Also, there's a little red subscribe button down below if you can go ahead and tick that little red subscribe button and that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my videos. So, in today's video, we are just going to be doing a kind of like a lifestyle day in the life what I eat in a day. It's going to be a pretty chill day today because we are pretty tired. We've been running for the past week. We had our nephew here, which he's only, well, he's almost two. And he is so sweet and he's just the best little baby ever. And we had him and he just played in and out with his uncle and my house got dirty so I had to film a cleaning video yesterday so I just waited to pretty much do the majority of the cleaning the deep cleaning until I did that video I did not do the bathroom yesterday because we had to put on another coat of paint on the trim which it turned out really well um, I might take you in there when I clean it to give you a little sneak peeks of it. Um, for those of you who are not from my other channel, you can go to Cruise Family Vibes and you can go back a few videos and you can see the before. Um, I did not take before pictures. Um, I completely forgot. But you can all, um, you can all go back and look at some before videos of my bathroom and then you can watch the after video which will be coming up soon it was not completely done yet we've still got a few more things to do um like I need to deep clean and scrub my cabinets because um we have been planning on <clears throat> excuse me we have been planning on redoing the cabinets and the countertop because we want to put in his and her sinks and make the cabinet a little bit wider. Um, so that's going to be later on down the road. But for now, I'm just going to deep clean the cabinets that I have in there now and get those prepped for later. We also have to take down the closet, the bathroom closet door, and um, clean that up and paint that. I'm going to paint it the same color as the trim, so that way it pops against the other color in the bathroom. They're both um, fairly light colors. They're really pretty. It really brightened up the room a whole lot. It looks so good. So. I've got to do a, another cleaning video tomorrow, which will um, have the entire bathroom in there, but it's not going to be done, so keep that in mind. Um, so I've got to get all of the paint up out of the floor where it dripped from the pan, but it's not, it's got latex in it, so it's not really hard to get up I can just use my scraper and scrape it up it's fine got my ketones these this is the prove it nat splash charged this is what I want to drink I drink any of the the charged nat drinks whenever I need the extra energy to get my crap done so that's what I have in here I think the splash is my favorite one especially for the summertime it's so good but I love the raspberry lemonade and the heart tart 
they're really good oh and the key lime they're really good so before I do anything any cleaning or anything I am going to drink half of this and get ready because it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to notice any effects off of this at least for me because I'm so calm in nature I don't I it gets hard for me to rev up really quickly so that's why I like taking these it just slowly gives you that little boost of energy that you need and plus it's super good and for those of you who have been keeping up with the nutritional ketosis um, review I did have the salted caramel coffee yesterday morning and it was really good I really do recommend their cappuccino line if anything at all I recommend the BHB's and the cappuccino line I've not tried any more of the um, shakes I just haven't had time because like I said we were very busy and it was just easier for me to just make the cough the cappuccino and just go and it kept the the coffee the cappuccinos did keep me satiated excuse me satiated for a very long time I drank it about nine o'clock yesterday morning and I did not eat until about three o'clock in the afternoon so I was fine that whole entire time I did not think about food and they were awesome so those are the two that I recommend is the cappuccino line and the BHBs if anything at all if you want to try that those would be the two to try but I always always go back to my ketones from prove it they are just the best and that's it they're just the best and they give you that boost of energy you satiated they help you with muscle recovery and all of that good stuff so I am just going to drink this and then I'm I'm not really hungry but I might make me something to eat because I didn't eat that much yesterday and I do need to um, stock up on my calories today so that way I, I can kind of make up for yesterday with you know body wise um, because I don't want to be in that big of a calorie deficit even though that I was because I did not eat but maybe a thousand calories yesterday that's because I just wasn't hungry I was not hungry I was busy um, we had um, we had spaghetti and meatballs yesterday well my husband and daughter did they I made my Italian meatballs yesterday I wish I would have recorded it for you guys but we were just so everywhere yesterday but we had my Italian meatballs and they had butter pasta to go with it and I had um, spaghetti squash and cauliflower to go with it I just had some in the freezer I just popped it in the microwave and heated that up to go with the meatballs and it was good it was really good the next time I make that I'm going to have to record that for you guys um, but today I think I'm just going to make I think I'm gonna make chicken noodle soup because it's fall finally here it's cool outside and I'm so excited you guys I'm so excited I love fall the leaves are finally turning and falling off the trees I've got to get out in the backyard today and get some of those up because my dog when he goes out we have a fence a small fenced in backyard so if he goes out he won't get into the road um, 
so when he goes out there he just um, gets the leaves stuck in his fur and he brings them in so I've got to get out in the garage and get the rake and get those up a little bit today it shouldn't take long um what else do I have to do I'm not sure because like I said before I did the cleaning video yesterday and I pretty much cleaned 90 I would say 90% of my house um, I did the living room kitchen the I call it the fireplace room it's just the room with the fireplace in it we don't have any special stuff in there um, and I cleaned the living room I have not been in my makeup room that often because the whole four days that we were you know taking care of my nephew and painting and everything I didn't wear makeup so I didn't go in there at all um, except for yesterday when I filmed the cleaning video I did put on a little bit of makeup so it's not really that dirty let's see I've got sheet I've got my sheets on washing so if you hear that I'm sorry but I've got those in the washing machine they're washing I'm fixing to they should be just about done and I will throw those in the dryer and then I excuse me and then I will make my bed and probably vacuum and I, I know I need to vacuum I need to vacuum the room I, I've got to get that done um, my daughter is in her room she avoids the camera like the plague um, when I first made my you my original YouTube channel they're like yeah 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 we'll be in we'll be in your your videos and we'll do this and we'll do that and so we all came up with the cruise family vibes um they came up with it and I was like yeah that sounds cool we'll, we'll name it that and then when I started doing the um the videos they avoid the camera like the plague and it's like y'all really <laughs> this says cruise family vibes <laughs> but you might see them every once in a while in a video like they might walk in front of the camera or um i did do one video with my husband and he was rebuilding the steps on the front porch and that's the only video that i've got him in um i've had so many requests to um put his car back in the videos but he has had so many problems with that car um, the last we actually had anything to do with going to car shows or anything like that it was just a whole big mess and it stayed in the shop getting the motor rebuilt for two years why it takes that long I'll never know but it stayed in the shop for two years we finally got it back and it's out in the garage he pulled it out the other day and took it just for a little ride and something else is wrong with it so he's trying to get that fixed so it's going to be a while before we get the car back in the videos on my original channel um but for this channel it's just going to be strictly keto everything keto um what i eat in a day's lifestyle um cooking there will be hardly any cleaning on this video if there is it's very very minute um like maybe cleaning up after i cook you might get that if you're interested in that you can 
you know watch that part but if not um it's like i said i might clean you know record me cleaning up after i cook or stuff like that but as far as this channel goes it's going to be strictly keto like like i said it's going to be strictly keto if you're interested in anything keto i might throw you know something in here or there um but for the majority part it's going to be keto lifestyle you know in the keto family um very minute cleaning um reviews for keto products or anything like that um what else just anything that i can think of that's keto related i will put in these on this channel but everything else will be on the other channel cleaning i do lifestyle videos over there too i just um more of the subscribers prefer the cleaning videos so i do a lot more cleaning videos i do want to venture out and do more lifestyle videos especially with the family um because that was what the channel was pretty much made on is the whole family as a you know as a whole but like I said, they avoid the, fa the the camera like the plague. It's just, it's funny to me. But hopefully they will warm up to the camera and get more active in, in you know, being on camera. I'm not pushing it. So um, if they want to be on camera, they can. It's no problem for me. Um, but my daughter, she's so funny. She'll come out of her room and she'll, she'll see the camera standing there and I'm recording and she'll say, mom, is it recording? Is it on? I don't want to be on camera. It's like, no, hun, it's okay. I'll edit you out. She's like, okay. Or sometimes I will just have to cut the camera completely off so she doesn't, so she, she feels more comfortable. But I don't push it. You might see them every once in a while in a video that I may or may not sneak in. But other than that, they just don't want to be on camera right now. I don't think they're used to it. Um... I'm still getting used to it as well because when I first started my original channel I felt so awkward talking to the camera because in you know when you first start doing YouTube um, you feel funny talking to a camera because it's a camera it's not a person you don't feel comfortable and it hasn't clicked in your brain yet that when you upload you know and edit and then post it to youtube that thousands of people will see your video and you are talking to those people so you just have to get your mindset in that area so that way you know you get a little bit more comfortable with the camera but um, I don't want to ramble too much because I don't want, it's just when you don't really have much going on for that day, you don't really know what to film, so you just sit down and chat, and by the time you're done chatting, you've done deleted 500 times, and you've refilmed 500 times, and then you just find yourself chatting, like me, but um... I find it a little bit more easier to just sit down and chat and let you know what's going on and anything like that, addressed issues or um, any questions that you may have, just to, you know, relate to you guys. Um, because all of my subscribers 
are awesome and I get new subscribers every day and all of you guys are so awesome and I love you guys I can give you an update on my weight I did go down to 190 190 I went down to 190 so that's 20 pounds and then three days ago I went back up two pounds 2.8 pounds so now right now today I'm at 192.8 and I don't I don't exactly know why I've been exercising um, I do 30 minutes on my bike and then plus I do um, I clean the house I get real sweaty and everything and when I clean the house and then I count that as an exercise and then three to four days a week I'll do cardio like I will follow along with YouTube channels that do different stuff sometimes I'll do yoga sometimes I'll do Pilates sometimes I'll do like I found a channel called mad fit quite a while ago and I love her channel it's really good I will do some of those sometimes it just depends on what I'm feeling that day but I cannot for the life of me unless it's water weight um which ketones will help with that but I think it's just maybe it's water weight hopefully it's just water weight because I'm I'm strictly keto I don't eat hardly any carbs at all you know except for you know the keto carbs I, I try to stay well below 20 grams of carbs per day um, I'll do 70% of fat per day and I will do 20% of protein per day sometimes I'm just short sometimes I'm just a smidge over um, but as long as I'm right in that ballpark with my fats and protein I'm good but 99% of the time I am below on my um, net carbs um, some days I will eat 10 carbs some days I will eat 19 carbs it just depends on what I'm eating that day but I would say 90% of the time I am below 15 grams of carbs per day and that's good so like I said I would I exercise every day so I'm just thinking I did not drink my ketones for a few days I drank some of the other products for a few days and I did notice I did gain those two pounds but I'm not sure if it was the products because I don't want to say that and it not be the products because when I drank the BHBs I peed a lot I mean a lot so I don't really think it's the products um maybe um you know my fat or whatever is turning into muscle I don't know I just I don't know I'm at a loss on why I why I gained those two pounds back but I think I'm going to go in there and make me something to eat I th think I'm going to make a tuna melt I've been wanting a tuna melt for so long I miss them because on keto you know you can't have bread there's some breads that you can have like the sola bread or stuff like that but um, I why try you know I might try it later on down the road like the smart buns or something um, or the sola bread you know but right now I I just do the 90 second bread um, it's very easy 
very easy to to make you just mix all of your ingredients put it in the microwave for about 90 seconds and then let take it out and let it cool and then you can cut it in half this way instead of this way if that makes sense like sandwich bread so you can cut it straight down the middle like and then have two pieces um, and then I think I will just mix up some tuna with some mayo and mustard um, I think I have some dill pickles in there just for a tuna melt I have some cheese in there I have some mozzarella cheese in there I think that will go good because I used all of my pepper jack cheese yesterday in the Italian meatballs just to use it up because I didn't have that much left and I didn't want it to go to waste so that's what I put on the meatballs yesterday for dinner um so I think that's what I'm going to have for lunch it is it is 11 27 so it's right at lunch time um so I think I'm just going to go in there and do that and then maybe I will answer some comments on my original YouTube channel and on my Instagram for a few minutes just to let my food digest and then I will start cleaning the bathroom because there are some places in there that needs to be touched up. My husband's going to do that later when he gets home. Um, just like when he pulled the tape off some of the paint was still a little bit wet so it kind of pulled it up but that's okay we can touch it up he's like oh no don't you know oh no did it come up and i was like it's okay just fix it but let's go do that and get some food lunch and go from there okay come on okay you guys for this recipe we're just going to be making 90 second bread. What we're gonna need is one tablespoon of butter. This should be about one tablespoon. We're just going to pop this in the microwave until it's melted. Okay, as you can see, this is pretty much melted. And then we're going to add in our flour. We're going to use three tablespoons of almond flour. Now I like to sift my almond flour just so it's not crummy. I don't like that crumb texture in there. So we're just going to sift that in there and see all those crumbs in there we don't want that and then you're just going to add in some baking powder and you're just going to add in a half a teaspoon of baking powder so just about that much and then you're just going to do a little bit of salt this is a pink salt I just added in just a little pinch and then what I like to add in is some garlic powder just a little bit and then you can go ahead and give this a mix this will help cool that butter down so that way it does not cook your egg and then you're just going to add in one whole egg. I've got everything kind of scattered here. Sorry about that. I'm just going to add that in. Now you're just going to give this a good stir. Just to combine everything really well. may take a minute or two to get everything combined. 
just kind of uh, scrape down these sides a little. Now you're going to put this in the microwave for 90 seconds. While that is cooking, we are going to make our tuna. So what I've got here is just solid white tuna in water. And you're just going to open this and drain it all out. So just add your tuna into your bowl. You can break it up if you need to. That's why I like using this because it actually is more hearty. And then just put a tablespoon or two of mayo in there. Would work a lot better if I had a spoon, but this will work just fine. Now I use the Duke's mayo. Um, I know it's not the best, but it has no carbs and no sugars in there so we're good and then I just add a little bit of salt and I also like adding this gluten's spicy brown mustard um, there's no carbs no sugars no added sugars so it's very good all mustards are pretty pretty good. I just add maybe a teaspoon. Then I add just a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder just to give it a little bit of flavor and it kind of tastes like the deli style um, tuna that you would get from the deli or from a sub shop or anything like that now from this point you can add whatever that you like um, sometimes I will add jalapenos or crushed red pepper flakes um, pickles just whatever you want and this is what your bread should look like when it comes out. It's pretty thick. I'm just going to let this cool a minute so that way I can cut it in half. Okay, so this is the knife that I like to use to cut this with. It's thin, but it's really, really sharp. And you can just cut along. You just put your hand over the top and then try to cut straight down the middle like that so now you have just two pieces now what we're going to do is I have some mozzarella cheese I'm just going to cut a few thin slices. This will help hold the tuna onto the bread. And then you're just going to take your tuna and whatever you don't use you can just place in a bowl in the refrigerator and make another one later or another day. Then you can just put your cheese on top of that that put that on there and then we'll head over to the stove so turn your pan on medium heat we're just going to let that heat up we're going to add about a teaspoon of butter to the pan now that the butter is all melted you can take your 
sandwich and you're just going to let this cook on each side until it's golden brown and when you flip it carefully flip it so the insides do not fall out as you can see the cheese is melting perfectly and the crust or the top of the bre bread is beautifully golden brown so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this out of the pan and put it on a plate like that and then I'm just going to cut it down the middle and that's what it looks like okay you guys I've got my little um, station set up here I've got my ketones mm, they are so good I've also got my tuna melt how good does that look now you can add um, whatever that you like into your tuna mixture I just like um, adding that because it takes it to a deli style flavor and then you can add whatever cheese that you like um, I just like using mozzarella cheese because it melts really good um, but you can use whatever cheese that you like mm. the bread is really good if you sift your almond flour it don't have that gritty texture so whenever I use almond flour in general I always sift it before I put it in anything so it just makes the texture a little bit more flour like and soft but it's really really good it makes that really soft texture and it doesn't taste eggy at all it's got a really good bread flavor to it but I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going to clean up in my kitchen unload the dishwasher put some dishes in the dishwasher and then I'm going to go scrape up the paint in the bathroom floor and I will see you guys back in just a bit and I will show you what I make for dinner. I think I'm going to make the chicken noodle soup today for everybody because it's just fitting. It's cool outside and I really want some chicken noodle soup. So I think that's what I'm going to make for dinner today. I've got to set out the chicken for that so that can start thawing. I'm going to put that in the refrigerator. And I will see you guys back in just a bit. Okay, guys, it is dinner time now. So I'm going to be making some chicken noodle soup. Um, before I put in the noodles for my husband and my daughter, I'm just going to scoop out what I'm going to eat for the day. Um, then I will be putting in the noodles for them and letting it cook. But until then, I've just got some water boiling on the stove and I will bring you a little bit closer you can see what I'm doing so I've just got a little bit of water boiling I am going to add in two chicken breasts now I don't have that much celery left so I'm just going to use this all right now I'm just going to switch over to voiceover and talk you through all of this you're just going to chop up into a small dices about three to four stalks of celery and you're going to chop up about two to three cups of carrots um, they don't have to be too fine but they do need to be in small pieces
Now you're just going to dice up an onion. Um, I dice mine into really small pieces. So you just um, dice those up really small so they cook a little bit faster and throw those into the same bowl with your carrots and celery. Now by this time your chicken should be done cooking. This cooked for about 15 minutes, give or take a few. And now you're just going to shred this up really uh, into small bite-sized pieces. And then you're just going to set that aside in a bowl. Now, some of my footage got deleted, but what you're going to do is um, drain most of the water out of your pot that you cook the chicken in, and then you can just add the rest of that water in with your chicken broth. You're going to need two quarts of chicken broth. Um, just have that set aside, and in the same pot that you see here, you're just going to add in about two tablespoons of butter and you're going to saute your carrots, onion, and your celery until they're just tender. And then you're going to add in your, season, your seasoning, um, your chicken broth and your salt and pepper and you season this to however you like. And then you're just going to bring this up to a simmer Add your chicken in and you're going to let this cook until your vegetables are really soft. This should be about between 20 to 25 minutes, give or take, until your vegetables are soft. And then um, you're done if you're keto. But if you're making this for other people, you can just cook this until the vegetables are tender and then add in... Um, your spaghetti noodles or whatever noodles that you like and then you can cook that until the pasta is tender. Now you can just serve it up however you like. That's just Alright you guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and there's a little red subscribe button down there below and I would love it if you hit that little red subscribe button and tick that little notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. I upload new videos every week you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!